Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in uh, in the previous episode, I did mention uh, how to uh, register for an org. I hope you guys have done that already. Um, I also talked about a few things, right? Uh, just to make sure uh, person accounts turn on, uh, chatter, uh, ca- chatter is enabled, and a few other stuff, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, now today I'm just gonna uh, talk about uh, the permission sets. That's uh, important uh, because the one of the thing I just wanted to mention that obviously when you're gonna use the health cloud, right? Uh, the privacy uh, of the data, uh, data privacy is very important because if I'm a customer, if I'm a med- if I'm a patient, for instance, I will not be comfortable sharing my information with unauthorized uh, sources, right? unauthorized people who are not authorized to view my data the same goes with uh, I mean uh, with any uh, data to be honest uh, now uh, f- let, let me give you a very uh, simple thing right simple example um, let's say you have a patient information right and obviously in the hospital uh, when you go right not everyone is authorized to view your patient data only doctors and few other people who are authorized to view it uh, will be able to view that uh, data right maybe a surgeon or a specialist right or a nurse perhaps uh, but that being said a guy say who is looking after the security of the hospital will not have access to the data right he shouldn't be or she shouldn't be right uh, because that's a data privacy issue if that person uh, have access to your uh, health record, which is not really great. So in, when it comes to the Salesforce side of things, right, we got permission sets, permission set group, right? So you can control that using permission set group. So what I meant by that is, right, obviously to use Health Cloud, you need to have Health Cloud uh, permission set in place, right, to do operation on the Health Cloud, right? So you can assign a permission uh, group of permissions uh, to a permission set group, and that permission set group can be assigned to a profile so that the members belonging to that profile will have an authorized access, which is very important in my opinion because we are talking about the health data, right? So that's pretty easy to achieve, right? I mean, obviously, if you've been uh, using Salesforce for a while, you will know how to configure that stuff, right? So let me show you either way. So you go to this GearCog icon here, right? And you go to setup um, under. Uh, set up you can go to permission set now obviously it comes with different uh, permission set but what I'll do I'll create a one permission set group which is pretty simple so this is called health cloud so obviously I presume you guys know how to create a permission set group right just create new and enter the name and it will show you so you will come here it will look something like this right Oh, not blank, it's just taking time. Right, it'll look something like this, right? So you can go to permission sets in a group uh, and add permissions, right? So here, in this case, I've added two. One is the Health Cloud Foundation and Health Cloud Permission Set, right? So as the name indicates, Health Cloud Foundation, um, it's used to sign, read, access to additional Health Cloud platform. Um, so um, if you are an admin, right, if you want a certain, uh, or not admin, let's say a semi-admin, you wanted to have uh, more than, ad, sorry, uh, you who wanted to have uh, more than a regular user access, but uh, l- not to the level of an admin. So you can create a permission set group and assign to a profile. Uh, so under permission set, you can choose different ones. Right, if I go to H, uh, so you can choose, uh, like, if you want admin, you can choose admin, but if you don't want, you can choose API access, or you can choose uh, limited access, or you can choose membership service, that different one. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, about this stuff later stage, but just for now, what I've done, uh, we're going to go with... Um, uh, since, we, since I want to demonstrate using an admin, right? I'm going to go with the admin access, right? Because obviously I'm a sysadmin and I will use admin because I wanted to configure things. Uh, but if you're not an admin, right? If you just want the read-only access, then you can either try uh, the standard one or 
I guess uh, uh, the foundation one uh, limited and foundation uh, foundation one yeah uh, so and this one permission set for uh, this one as well so yeah there and they got something around API so if you're dealing with the API so this is the one to look for um, and if you want self-service then this is appointment self-service and got this um, and then if you want analytical user and admin you can do this stuff as well and video calls there are a lot of options here but for now um, okay if you if you want the very basic feature right you can use a starter license right you just assign the starter license to you know if you wanted to have the starter features option so that a lot of options here uh, but like I said I'm using a trial org right it might be different in your org if you bought a license depending upon the license right as well okay so that's in a nutshell about you know how you can assign a permission set group now let's look at uh, let's have a look at how I health uh, cloud admin or or app looks like right which is uh, the, the main intention of learning this module to begin with where because you can you know control different sort of information so uh, I go to this uh, you know this tic-tac-toe icon uh, which is also called as an app launcher so I'll look for health cloud so you have console you got admin and you so if I look at admin right so most of the grunt work or groundwork I would say not the grunt work that's not a right term um, so a lot of stuff you can do here uh, so let's take an example like uh, under health I mean you can add if you like so you can go here you can add more items but for now just keep as such um, so if I what I'll do if I um, so the first example is an ad account right uh, so obviously we're dealing with a person accounts here right if you remember I to mention about activating the person account so what I'll do so for instance if I this is the uh, account view of Charles Green right which is pretty simple right nothing fancy here you can see all the stuff here if you look at the details right so um, so a lot of things you can see that you have all this uh, you know medical American stuff right associated with this guy and you've got some tasks created right so if you wanted to uh, change the uh, the page layout you can pretty much do that as well you can add the custom information and other stuff right if you go to the LWC that's gonna take some time to load uh, so we can if you like patient I don't know if I, if I can put the patient timeline somewhere let's say I wanted to put the patient timeline yeah so I can do that and what I'll do I will just save it and yeah and I'll activate it so you can configure right this is a basic Salesforce feature so uh, Be not concerned about it. I'm just giving you, give you an opportunity for you uh, to you know uh, to change the look and feel of your page layout. So, for instance, it's the timeline. So you can see the timeline, right? So uh, I pre uh, I guess they've used Omni Studio perhaps to build it, but I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe LWC, a regular one, not Omni Studio. Uh, I'm just speculating, though. I don't know. Oh no, uh, actually. Yeah, so um, so this is a timeline information about all the patient stuff, right? You gotta look into that. Um, so I don't really want to get into the patient. Uh, so this is like, you know, less sugar intake, um, all kind of activity stuff that's going on, right? Um, and then you have different... Uh, you see 
you can expand it you can look at for different time right you can it's just like a timeline view right which is pretty interesting view uh, for uh, a, you know someone looking at this person patient profile will get an information about it so um, from a Salesforce perspective right um, it just to make sure that you give a, uh, a user interface in such a way so that it's useful for the person who are looking at it right so that's the the first thing right we don't really have to know a lot of medical term I don't know a lot of medical terms right I know a few things few stuff but uh, that's not the whole point right we're not a doctors right we are consultants so yeah it's good to have have the knowledge of few things but no one expects you to know you know in-depth medical uh, terminology um, in your vocabulary right uh, so so yeah I mean this is just all I wanted to demonstrate and 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 one thing I wanted to mention that you might have questions around certification right uh, so there is a health cloud certification but it's not a part of a regular certification when I said regular you can't go to your web assessor and just apply it straight away. You won't find it. Uh, it's mostly uh, a partner, a creator certification. So if you have a partner account, partner portal, if you have access to partner portal, you can perhaps register from there. Like I have access to it. Uh, so I, I have planned to take it uh, the cert in the future. I've been, I just been delaying it because I've been pretty busy with so many things. Uh, not just Salesforce, um, but so many other stuff. So I kind of, you know, shying away from taking it. But that being said, I plan to take this and uh, this cert this year. So it's an exciting cert, right? And the only thing I would tell you, right, if you are not going to work in a health cloud, then just don't bother with it. Because why do you want it to learn a tech which you're not going to use it, right? You could. Instead, you enhance your knowledge on something which you're already working on and, you know, and perhaps, you know, add more value to the stuff you're doing. I mean, if health cloud is something you think you're not going to use at all, uh, then, you know, there's no point in watching this video. I mean, I'll be very upfront, right? I prefer people should value the time uh, in the right way. And I please don't let me tell you what, you know, how to use your time, but just give me my opinion. If, if you think you're not going to use health cloud, then, don't bother with it, right? There are a lot of clouds out there which I haven't used. So, right, marketing cloud, for instance. I don't use marketing cloud. So I don't learn marketing cloud. That's the reason why I don't make videos in marketing cloud. Because we don't just don't use it. That's that's the thing, right? I mean, if I think that in the future I have an opportunity to work on it, then, yeah, I might learn it. It may take me a few days to just get up to the speed and, you know, just getting going. That's, uh, that's, that's the same for me with any tech right so so yeah so if you think that the health cloud is something you wanted to perceive uh, maybe you have a project coming up uh, or maybe you know you wanted to get into health industry uh, where Salesforce is actively involved and you wanted to work on a health cloud platform yeah then I think this course is perfectly uh, gonna uh, work for you uh, but if you are someone who just wanted to learn health cloud I mean you can follow along uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I would rather suggest, right? You know, it's my personal opinion that you know, if you think you're not going to work on it, then you might better off doing something else, right? That's all I wanted to say. So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Adios.